dear students today we are going to discuss a very significant and important type uh, topic which will lead to you for success in life in a very great way management why management why we go for management tools techniques uh, other methods used in management why this is management why it is important we need to set up organizational goals for which human activity is involved and to set this human activity in action we need to use certain human act activity so we can achieve desired results first of all in whatever activity we are involved we need to take help of nature because nature is the most significant factor ingredients which affect life of each of us whether in the area of production marketing or uh, finance or in uh, any other activities of life this is the most significant contributor this enables us to achieve our goals of life what is nature everything that we get to lead our life to exercise our duties or to achieve our goals and objectives they are produced they are the gift of nature so nature is a very important factor which govern our life our life is not possible even for a second if we don't have a positive gift of nature because air water land these are the major significant factors contributory to our our life air is significant and important the most important factor the most important element given or blessed by the nature to us without air we cannot breathe even for a second this uh, you can have a view over the nature's contribution uh, the role of air in our life directly it has no meaning but when we go and when we see the implications of nature uh, effect of uh, air in our quality of life it becomes very significant why because we are confronting with lot of problems in day to day life all over the world across the world and air is one of the most significant ingredients factors which affects our life the problem of our pollution is one of the greatest hazards in the world today it is affecting not the life of individuals in any corner of the world but affecting the every part of the world world in some or the other way nature or good air good quality air is a significant factor and we are aware of the fact that recently during the deepavali festival the quality of air got down to a great extent resulting in difficulty in performing where various activities in our life this is very significant similarly as water gives an opportunity to live with water is also equally significant about 80% of our body constitutes of water and we require water to perform number of various activities in day to day life apart from using the drinking water 
bringing water is most significant factor but it water is consumed in various other activities in our life it is very significant to keep the quality of wet water to a great extent otherwise it will not only affect the life of other species but also going to affect the life of humans to a great extent life will not be possible another very significant contribution of nature it is land land is significant in the sense that when we start of our, our life all the ingredients which are required for life in form of food these are gifted by the nature through the land and all products which you consider are you which you can imagine they are given up by the land not only vegetarians but non vegetarian also depend totally upon the resource of land food products fruits food grains these are very significant and important goods which are given to us to sustain our life in a good manner why management is significant it is significant for the organization the society and the environment contributing in these three objectives to a great extent first of all if we have a look over the management what is the basis of man management is a human activity performed on performed by humans so humans are the most significant factor which contribute in management development or de development of all manager activity conducting all activities in our life so it is very important and significant that each individual unit of human is in a perfect shape to contribute to its great extent fullest extent in the development of country society now management is a very significant area of discussion around the world but whatever we have learned or known about the management is basically focused about the business management management is not an activity which can be confined in the area of business activity only all human activities are a part of this and to achieve our goal the most significant role is performed by individuals they contribute to the greatest extent in this area for this there are two significant areas do two different sections two important areas where we must focus to achieve anything in life not only in business not only in our personal life but for performing any function in our life one is our mind our brain and the other is the our body human body which perform the instructions by given by the mind given by the brain to our body in a sense you can say that our body human body is a hardware which is helped by the 
software or mind. They are to a great extent from the uh, from uh, the computer system, hardware and software, and we both play in somewhat similar way, the same role in the, performing the activities. So, body is a hardware. If you don't have a perfect hardware to deliver the goods, it will not be possible for any individual, for any society, for any country to achieve the desired results. It is a must. But for performance, for these are giving results. Fitness is very important. Fitness of body, including the various activities that are performed by the body. A healthy body, a fit body, physical fitness enables us to perform in a desired manner and give us desired results. How can we maintain this fitness? There may be number of methods, number of tools which are required to keep fitness. There may be different mood, different methods for maintaining fitness. There is no doubt, no dispute that fitness is one of the most significant factor in enabling our body to perform in the best way. For maintaining the fitness, what can we do? Yoga, meditation, dhyana, these enable us in a, to a great extent to perform our duties, perform our actions. The, a fit body, a healthy man, always remains in a position to give these desired results because of no interruption in work. If there are health problems, health issues, you will not be in a position to give the desired results. So, Physical fitness is a very sig significant ingredient and this is supported by food and nutrition. A very difficult or distracting situation is that uh, food across the world, which is being uh, blessed by nature, is resulting in number of diseases, health problem, health issues. Because all of you know that the nature has blessed us with a perfect body, perfect condition. No diseases and the body which can perform natural actions. In the due course of time, we develop number of diseases, number of health problems, number of health issues. Why this is? This is because we are not complying the signals given by nature. If we don't comply with the signals given by nature, we will be in a great problem. We take different type of foods Consume, consume various types of foods, many a times they suit to our body and go in a well-defined manner. But several times we face health issues. Why these health issues are there? Because we are not following the instructions, the symptoms, the direction which is given by the nature to attain our health. 
So it is a very significant and important factor. Yoga, meditation and dhyan. These can enable us to keep our health in a good way, in a good quality to a great extent. And food and nutrition support the same. Good health is not only a significant factor which enables us to perform our functions, daily functions, routine functions, office functions and all other activities. But it is also money saving. If we keep a constant good health for long duration of time, we keep away from diseases, keep, we keep away from health problems, health issues. It will result, it will give us more time for positive activities. Not only give more time for positive activities, but also it is a money-saving device. Fitness and health issues today are seen as a remedy to control the health. But the Indian system, particularly the yoga, jhan, meditation, these devices, devices are meant to be used not only in event of a disease, but also in natural way in our daily routine. It, they must be a part of our daily routine, daily activity, to enable us to keep us bird health, diseases, health problems. So, this is one way. Body is significant. Body is very significant. Physical fitness is very much required for performing actions. But the functions which are performed by the human body, they are directed to the human mind, our brain. Our brain, our mind directs us to perform various functions. What can we do to keep our mind in a positive way, positive manner? How can we help our mind? How can we feed the mind so that it is not distracted and gives us you know, most of the results that we require from the mind? <clears throat> if we think of mental activity, what is the first symptom, first signal of human activity? It is a flow of idea, flow of single ideas. In due course of time, number of ideas float in our mind. And these ideas provoke us to develop thoughts. In due course of time, we have number of thoughts which circulate in mind and we are required to take a definite action, certain action, certain decision in the way the mind can go ahead and perform its activity. This <clears throat> mind can be a positive mind a negative mind both and the results of both will be different. So controlling our mind in a positive manner so that it acts only positively, it is only possible with the help of yoga, meditation, control the mind, distract uh, so that many factors don't distract in the mind and uh, allow it to flow 
in any way. The thought, ultimately, the thought results in actions. They are, there is a flow of actions as a result of our thoughts. Firstly, ideas come to our mind, it flow to the results in thought, and lastly, it is, this is converted in action. If the actions are being performed in a routine way, they become a part of our habit. Habit is a very important factor because if you develop a habit, a positive attitude, a uh, positive thinking, a positive behavior, a balanced attitude, it will result in positive actions. Because whatever actions we are going to take or which are we are going to direct our body to perform, they are given by the mind. If the mind is positive, it is not negative, it will also deliver good results. But it is very significant and important to keep mind in our control. So that is the difference between the actions which are witnessed across the world. The science has blessed us with many things, even an atom bomb, which can be beneficial for the human life, for the human welfare, for the human upgradation, and in many more ways, in curing certain types of diseases and many more things. But the same atom bomb can bring disasters in the world. If we, in past, we have seen several times that because of a wrong decision taken by a mind, a unsound, unfit mind has resulted in world wars. It has resulted in loss of life of lakhs of people. Not only to go very back in the present situation, in the Middle East, great war situation is there, and there is an apprehension that may that it may lead to a nuclear war. If this happens, this will be the biggest loss, this will result in the biggest loss of life and property of humans. In no way it is going to benefit to any human, any individual, any country. But this can happen. Why this can happen? Because of the mind. Because the condition of mind, if the mind application is in a positive manner, it is going to result positively. And if the mind is working in a negative way, it will give negative results only. So, positive thoughts, positive actions, they always lead to development success in the life of individuals, in the life of societies, in development of countries, overall development of the world, creating a positive environment for growth and development. But if the actions are not appropriate, and these are misleading. The actions given by the mind are negative. It will definitely lead to negative results and problems 
to the all of the community not only nearing us but also across the board it will affect the people across the world so success is one of the des desired result of actions taken by human activities human brain human body and it has two dimensions and very interestingly success can be defined by different individuals in different manner a politician which grabs power through unfair means it may result in grabbing the power the position the formation of government and holding high highest positions but ultimately it is not going to pay there are different persons perceptions of success on one hand it may lead to positive results on the other hand it may be it may lead to neg negative results and success have different implications for different people a if a thief a chain is maker success in chain is, is making then this is a success for this chain is nature but it is a loss financial loss to a person ultimately it is not not going to pay results for a long time because uh, at one time it is he is going to be caught and kept behind the bars so for different people success is different different dimensions they define success in different ways across the board we, if we have look over the uh, over our globe entire globe there are some nations which are very developed very powerful very capable they are known across the world they are controlling most of the resources of the world not only natural resources but also resources created by the human mind artificial intelligence they are capturing it and they are using it so this is also success but it is resulting in humiliation exploitation of great number of people across the world so this cannot be justified only because you are developing you are gaining power it cannot uh, be justified See, same way in the political area it can be justified if you win election by unfair means but this is a situation is which, which is prevailing uh, all over the world not only in our country this is everywhere because the um, power or the politics it is never it is not expected to come in hands of idealist people they will not be interested in power not interested in exploiting the people and not interested in the gaining everything because of their muscle power atomic power or by any other means which may be applied to achieve or to exploit people another important parameter significant means it is time management time management is a very significant area which should be separately separately discussed and studied unfortunately this is not the situation today but this must be taken on a very priority basis across the board because time management or time value it is very significant and it is a 
not non-monetary measure. It cannot be measured in terms of money, but it is very significant and important. A timely action can prevent life of a large number of people, can prevent harassment of large number of people if it is a timely action. We all have experienced then during the winter uh, rainy season, large number of people are washed away. Their properties damaged, lives lost. And why this happens? Because of application of various measures which may be used to help those people to keep away the problem of floods. If we want to conclude the topic that is management methods, the two various different areas of mind and body. Again, we can say that an idea results in thought, X number of thoughts result in behavior pattern and creating a mindset which ultimately results in habit. If it is possible, it is going to help us in a great way. And in various walks of life, particularly in the area of religion, it becomes a very strong point. It also results in form of a definite knowledge which helps people in various walks of life. Why good results are required? What are the objectives of management, major objectives of management? In, resp in respect of individual, firstly in respect of individuals, what are the basic objectives? Name, fame, money, leisure, and satisfaction. All these results are the result of our actions taken by our mind and our body. It results in general satisfaction and it also results in pleasure, making of our life easy and one very important area is training the mind. How can we train our mind? It is not an instant activity. There is no tool to train our, our mind. This training must continue on a routine basis. If, even if, if there is slight seepage in this, the good activities, the good act actions get, may get converted in bad actions and bad things. So, training of mind is essential activity for success, for happiness. So, these are certain points which may not be a part of your curriculum or your syllabus, but these are very important significant issues, significant areas, knowledge of which consideration of these points will help you to a great extent to get success in life in whatever field you are going to work, not only in business. Obviously, these are very beneficial and this may, this may give instant results in business field of business and industry. But if, even if you are not in industry or business, you are most likely to get the best results, the best advantage because of these. So, this helps in results uh, in uh, work satisfaction satisfaction of individual and also satisfaction and 
to the people who are using various products produced by the production units this may help in releasing positive energy help in setting goals and achieving goals so these certain points will enable you to get acquainted with various problems which you are going to face in future in the future in due course of time in your performance of activity during industry or business or in other activity what may it be so a few very significant thing that be focused always be positive act instantly and get reserve which may lead to a successful life a successful career or achieving greater heights so this is all for the day thank you mm-hmm.